Hey you! If you're enjoying Skyline Rem and want to help make it happen, you can apply to join our backstage team in the description of this video. If you don't have the time or means, don't sweat it. Subscribe, leave a like, and enjoy the video instead. Ah, get back here already! Na 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 na, you can't catch me! Come on, we've been running for so long! Can't we talk about this? Like big kids? There's nothing to talk about! I'm not letting you take this from me! Quit being a brat! Oh yeah? How's this for a brat? Smiley, look out! Rex, wait! That'll teach you to mess with me! I'm out of here! Rex, Rex, are you okay? Smiley... What's wrong? Come closer. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Dear gods, they got stupider. Lily and her companions stare at the giggling idiots on the ground in front of them. So... So... What the heck are we gonna do about this? Rex reaches his hands up toward the ceiling. <laughs> you think I could touch the ceiling? I just... I can't... I gotta be up there! Uh, maybe we could try... Getting up from the ground first? Don't encourage him. Stay on the ground, Fixer. How did this even happen? I've never heard of magic like this before. Well, that's the vestige for you. They always seem to do things we least expect. So, what do we call this one? The loopy vestige? This explains all the signs we were trying to follow earlier, at least. Vincent massages the bridge of his nose. Everyone in Arrowwind was giving that kid whatever he wanted because he made them act... stupid. Hey! Rex sits up quickly and points a wobbly finger at Vincent. We're not stupid. You're stupid. No, you're stupid. Yeah, we're not doing this. Alice shakes her head. Both of you shut the hell up before I knock the stupid out of you. <gasps> oh! Wait, uh, this makes so much more sense. Uh, whatever weird mist that vestige gives off, it must make people act like... Well... This. She motions to Rex in London. That's why Allison was weird when I went to see her earlier today. Wait, what? I thought she was drunk. Does she look like the drinking type to you? Drinkers are supposed to look the part now? Guess I missed that memo. 
All right, then what's our strategy? Get the vestige back and bring these two back to normal. Easier said than done. Before, we didn't even know what the vestige could do. So we could chase after the kid willy-nilly. But now that we know what happens if we get too close, how do we navigate around that? Carefully. Why has everyone got such a mean look right now? <laughs> You're all like... <laughs> Nix giggles at her and contorts his face to emulate a serious expression, but it looks incredibly forced as he struggles to keep himself from grinning. Mm. Man, I'm bored. Shouldn't we go get the kid or something? You're not doing any of that. You're staying in bed while the rest of us handle this. We don't even know how to handle it ourselves. Not to mention, we don't know if getting the vestige back will fix them. Mm, they've been like this for hours. If it was going to wear off, it would have done that already. Obviously, the only thing we can do is get our hands on the vestige and figure it out from there. But there must be a way to deactivate its effects. So what do we do with these dummies in the meantime? Yeah, uh, watch them? That's all you can do. Us? What about you four? Well, we'll do what we do best and hunt the kid down. Just keep an eye on those two and make sure they don't get into trouble. Ha! <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Trouble's my middle name. I thought your name was Rex. I like that one a lot better, you know. Dear Unity, help us. You, you got this. Uh, team, let's move out. Uh, this world's spinning. Oh, uh, why are there three tables? One, two, three. Hey, there's a fourth one. Uh, you and London wiggle around on the floor, giggling at one another, as Vincent and Ellis turn to each other apprehensively. And then there were four. Can you even count them? They're acting like children. We're not children! You try to stand and walk toward them. We're... Professionals. Big word for you. Ellis sounds unimpressed. Lay back down, fixer. Why? I don't want to lay down. Rex! Are you bored? I'm bored. Yeah, I'm bored too! Then, I don't know, find a book to read! If you're able to read like this. Alice puts her hands up in mock surrender. I'm out. What do you mean you're out? What do you mean? What do I mean? You can't just leave me with them! Alice, don't you want to hang out with me? No, not, not really. That's not very nice, London frowns. <laughs> You're far gone if you think that's not nice by my standards, Alice snorts. Boo! Bad friend, Alice! Yeah, boo! <laughs> Let's do something fine! I can't handle this, Alice shakes her head. I didn't sign up to be a babysitter. Neither did I, but you don't see me trying to bail. You have siblings, don't you? What does that have to do with this? He's got a big family. It's not that big. Also, I seldom have to babysit Rosaria. That's what the maids are for. Then why don't you get some of your maids to do this instead? They have better things to do than look after these two. So do we! Why do we have to put up with this? Alice motions back to you in London. Alice! No! Alice massages her temples. Oh my god, I can't deal with this. She tries to leave again, but Vincent rushes after her. Alice! Why? I hate kids! I don't like kids either, but I'm not running out the door. London watches them leave and scoots towards you on the ground. Rex, she purrs quietly. You still bored? Mm-hmm. Parents suck! Maybe we could do something fun then, she asks. Let's play a game. 
I like games. Where do you want to play? I want to play hide and seek. <gasps> that sounds fun. We got to find a place to hide. She puts her finger to her lips as she whispers. So they don't find us. Let's go hide. No. She whines as she puts a lazy finger against her mouth. We gotta be quiet. They're gonna know where we're hiding if we're loud. Oh, yeah. Right. Quiet. You repeat with a whisper. She nods. Yeah. Come on. Follow my lead. She begins to sneak out, badly, mind you, and moves deeper into the house. You can faintly still hear Vincent and Ellis arguing in the kitchen downstairs. <clears throat> oh, this corridor, it's so long. Is it always this long? It's gotta be like at least three miles away from your room, London. Oh, wait, this way. This is closer. This is just like one mile. Oh, that was so far. Whew. Okay. Hide seek. <gasps> we could hide in my my room. No, no, no. They'd look there. Hey, I have it. If we get out of the house, we have so many more hiding spaces. <laughs> okay. I gotta crawl. You gotta scooch on the carpet. Do 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 They're talking. They look so angry. <laughs> Whoa It's a skyscraper. Oh, 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 what? oh, oh there you are. London. Where are we going? Oh, a pretty flower. <gasps> Hello, miss. Greetings to meet sees you. I am the heroine of Fixer at your service. How can I fixer your problems today? <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> We're hiding space. Whoa, this tall building. It's an alleyway? Maybe we could hide in the grass. <gasps> or the dirt. We could hide in the dirt? You could become dirt people. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? What, what, what? Do we climb in a box? You and London sneak around the nearby building. London glances up toward the rooftops and motions toward them. Hey, I think I know where we should hide. Oh, yeah? Where? She points up toward the roof. We could try to climb up there. You want to climb? I know a lot of stuff. That's so cool. Come on. We gotta go up the house. <laughs> They'll never look up there. But, uh, how are we gonna do that? Well, uh... She glances around the area. We can use the crates or something. Ugh, the world would stop spinning so I can climb. She mutters as she stumbled towards the crates. Huggy. You wander over to the crates and start to climb on top of them. However, before you can get too high, a hand physically stops you and pulls you back down. You fixer! Rex! 
You glance back toward the voice and find a green-haired silver wing staring back at you. Hey! I know you! Fern blinks in confusion. I... I would hope so. Uh, anyways, you have a lot of explaining to do. I know what you did! I didn't do nothing. You got no proof. Confess! I know that you messed with the- Shh. You put up your finger. You're really loud, Green Bean. What? Green Bean? I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever it is, it'll all work out. You just gotta go with the flow. Or... Uh, something. Fern stares at you, befuddled. You got this, buddy. You clap him on the shoulder and continue to work on scaling the building. Fern sputters behind you. What? But you, you can't. Hello? What did any of that mean? Rex, we gotta go. Coming. <laughs> <sighs> this is hard. It's like climbing Everest. <sighs> I'm so good. That way? How did you get there? That is crazy. I don't know if I can jump that far, London. I can try. Flower. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> More flowers. <sighs> smells like purple. I could totally grab that. Okay. Sweet jump. Try again. Climb Everest again. They don't mind if I peel these boards away, do, do they? I'm just putting them back. The nails just stick out a little bit. That's fine. You get a hammer and you can like stick them back. Okay. <sighs> Nailed it. Oh, I'm so good. You like this lady? Tell your friends to fix her. Do hey if, uh you didn't see that part. Hold on. I'm gonna click 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 then I gotta hey I am so good. Fixer more like fixer Yes and then click I am so good lady I am got back here Faster than I got back here. Ah. These moves. Tell your friends the fixers on the roof. Oh, it was so loud. Okay, where are we going next, Ledden? <gasps> That's a big jump. I made big jumps when I was chasing Esmeralda. Damn, this is my element. Blech. So good at jumping. <gasps> this looks like a tough jump. Blech. I was right. But it wasn't too tough for the fixer! <gasps> oh, sweet jump. I made it. Huh? <gasps> We're on roofs. That's crazy. I'm King of the World! 
Look at me, Lutton! I'm on the roof! Is this a good roof? Or do we want a different roof? <gasps> a different roof? <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Hi! Where are we going? We could go anywhere in the whole city from here. Except for the canal. Wait! Ah, I stuck the landing. <laughs> They'll never find us up here. They can't climb. Wow. You marvel. It's beautiful up here. You stare directly down at the ground. <laughs> Imagine if I fell. <laughs> That'd be bad. Just don't fall, Rex. You're gonna get hurt if you fall. Yeah. You gaze towards the docks in the distance as the light of the sun refracts off the ocean. Oh, pretty. <laughs> You giggle quietly as your eyes half close. Mm-hmm. Munden agrees, but you notice that she's not looking at the same thing as you. What? What? She glances back at you with a tilted head. What are you doing? Look in the ocean with me. Your eyes sparkle at the demand, and she gently scoots over to you. Oh. Oogie. She sits by you and stares at the horizon for a moment. This is the perfect hiding place. <laughs> we have the high ground. There they are! Ella shouts up from the ground level of heroin. You blink and cautiously stare down toward Ellis and Vincent as they glare at you. Uh... We're not here! We can see you up there! Alice grits her teeth. No, you can't. We're hiding, and you're never gonna find us! You state firmly. You scoot away from the edge and whisper to London. Quick, they're on to us! They're gonna hear you. <laughs> you both try to sneak toward the center of the roof to escape their eye shot. Hey, we see you trying to move away. Stop that. We're not here. We can still see you. Just get down there and get back in the house. Oh my god. Alice groans and hangs her head. If we stay quiet, maybe they'll go away. Lyndon says in a hushed voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, 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 they look so tiny. They're like microscopic. Tiny, tiny, tiny little people. I'm itty bitty little people. Wow, I am dizzy. Oh, the world's so bright. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. What's that building over there? We saw this. There's a building over there. He's got a oh, tower and oh, stuff. <gasps> That's another building. I forget how pretty Arrowin is. It's so, so pretty. Okay, what, what are we going? 
Sweet chumps. I... I'm... So good. So good. So crazy good. Yes! 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 I'm thinking three, four, five. I'm playing hopscotch on a roof! I never done this before. But it's awesome. I could never do this in my world. They'd be all like, hey you! You're going to jail. Pop, pop. And I'd be like, no. That's not allowed. Here. I make my own rules. I could go swim in the funny water thingy over there if I wanted to. And no one could tell me no because I'm the fixer. I fix things. All I'd have to do is they'd be like, hey. Stop that, and I'd go, I'm the fixer! I'm fixing this thing! And they'd be like, oh, okay, okay, okay. you fixer, right? Fixer. And they'd go on their way. And I'd be like, whoa, big, strong muscle man. And I would, uh, I don't know, and do whatever I want. What do I want to do? Climb on roofs and play hopscotch. That's what all of this was for. Is money? No. A house? No. It's all to jump on roofs the whole time. I was with Edmoelda. I just jumping on roofs. So really, my whole art is jumping on roofs. It's a tie up roofs. On the ground floor, Lily rushes through the streets and notices Vincent and Ella standing underneath a building, their eyes fixated on the sky above. Do you realize this is your fault, right? My fault? If you didn't get distracted, they wouldn't have gotten away. You were the one trying to ditch me! Uh, what's going on here? Vincent and Ella glance back at Lily. Oh, Lily, good. We have a problem. Why are you guys outside of your home? Where's Rex in London? That's the problem. She nods. She points up towards the roof of the building they're under. We don't know how or why, but, uh... Miley cranes her neck upward to stare at Rex in London as they sit on the rooftop. Hi, Miley! How the heck did this happen? I was gone for five minutes, practically. It was more than five minutes. We just said that we don't know either. You were supposed to watch them to make sure they don't do anything like this. Oh yeah? And how's that vestige hunt going? And why the heck are you with a silver wing? Again? It's... it's complicated, okay? Hey, Fern! Rags calls from the top of the roof. <laughs> I just look at... he looks like a little green bean from up here. We're so high. London marvels lazily. She leans forward. The crowd is so far down. Could you both please come down? Uh, it's boring. <gasps> I think I can see my house from here. We live next door. I'm going to lose it. Can you deal with this, Lily? What am I supposed to do about it? I don't know. He's your friend. Well, he's your friend, too. <laughs> hardly. What, what do you mean, hardly? You live together. Wait a second. London interrupts Bailey and Vincent's argument. Isn't that the kid over there? Wait, what? Uh-huh. Rex, take a look. London scoots closer to Rex and leans into him as she points. He's right over there. At the school. That's him, right? It's hard to tell when the world's all spinny. Oh, oh yeah. He's playing in the sand pits? Oh, that's so fair. I want 
to play in the sand pit. Miley. Yep. I know. Miley instantly starts to run toward the school with Fern, Lydia, and Luke. Uh, we gotta go. You guys got this, right? What? You can't just leave like that. Sorry, but we gotta get that vestige back. You guys got this. Oh, there they go. Bye, Miley! Goodbye! 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 Bye-bye! Goodbye! But I think she's gone. Wait, oh, you're so far down. Hi! Hello! We were hiding. I forgot we were supposed to be hiding. And you watch as Lily and her friends run off toward the school. Vincent throws his arms up. Unbelievable! They left us! Again! We're not inviting them to dinner next week. London watches them go with narrow eyes, before eventually turning back to you. Thanks. I'm getting bored up again. Oh, about the game. He can't get us, so it's not fair. Plus, I don't want to play this game anymore. It's boring up here. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do instead? She considers your question. She brings a hand down to her stomach and sighs. Oh, I'm hungry. <gasps> we could get food. Yeah. Food sounds good. But where do we go? Mm, I don't know. Then you'll have money. What happened? Alice took all of it. Oh, so you couldn't buy a wagon and ride away. I guess they're smart. She pauses and considers the situation as she stands up on the rooftop. You know, we could just take the food. <gasps> oh, yeah. She grins at you. What are you craving, Rex? We could get seafood. Or, uh, food? You consider your plethora of options. I want... Alistair's. That's a bar. But okay. How are we gonna get there? You glance toward the ground as Vincent and Alice continue to argue with one another. I gotta get there without them catching us. They're distracted right now. We gotta sneak around them when we get down and then... Uh, go to the square. Okay, okay. I'll follow your lead. London needs to scurry down the roof and scale the side to get back to the ground. Be careful! I don't fall. I... It's Alice's stair time. Can't wait for my Alice. Woo, almost slip off the roof. Okay. Okay. Food. Um, delicious, good food. I could eat a horse right now. Or are you supposed to eat like a horse? Why is this thing doesn't make sense? Do horses eat a lot? I stuck the landing. 30 points. Oh, wait, I gotta be quiet. You tell your friends the fixer was here today. <laughs> yeah, I can do whatever I want. Anything I want, because I'm the pirate fixer. I fix things and I pirate things. I could have this lantern if I wanted. I do good things. And Ambrose is like, Whoa, Rex. You saved this city again. Here's five more houses. And it's like, Thanks, Ambrosia. Could I have the keys to the castle now? And she'd be like, Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'd be like, Woohoo! I get to live in the castle. I'm the king of Erwin. Who is that guy? 
I never met him. Is he a guy? What's Vincent's papa like? Is he all serious like Vincent? Or is he like... Bob, Victor, you're my real son. I love you just like my own. And I'd be like, cool, because I'm I the prince now? Uh, of course, you and Vincent are both princes. Now we can't talk about being better than you all the time. Whoa, King Sir, that's awesome. Ugh. 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 That would be so cool. Hey, could I have a yacht? You know a yacht side? Because we'll come from your world, but we can get you a yacht because anything for the fixer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, where where Alistair? <coughs> I want Alistair. I'm hungry. Hmm. We going the right way? We going on the trip to Alistair's bar. Huh. What is this? You sneak around to the side door in the abandoned alleyway. Oh! Secret door! Where does it go? Alistair's. We gotta sneak in again. We're so sneaky today! Linden reaches for the door and aims to open it, but it doesn't budge. It's not opening. Oh, why not? It's probably locked. Boo! Linden reaches her hand into the pockets of her pants carefully. She narrows her eyes as she withdraws several small, thin items. Bobby pins? She kneels down in front of the door and jams the bobby pins into the lock. Your eyebrows raise. <gasps> you can pick locks? Yup, yup, yup. She nods her head vigorously. I've always known how to pick locks. Good, <sighs> so tired. She rubs her head as she continues to try and pick the lock. Where'd you learn that? I taught myself because I wanted to. <gasps> cool. What was I doing again? She asked herself with a pause. Oh, right, he's a lock. Uh, she looks back at the already picked lock. Wait, I already picked it. Hee hee hee. She stands up straight and puts her bobby pins away before pushing the door open. Ta-da! Her bag remains partially open, and you notice a couple of bobby pins fall back out, but you shrug it off. Awesome job, London. Come on, Rex. She waves you in. We gotta get the good stuff. Like... The food. <gasps> yeah, food. I could go for some food. We could get a ton of it if we're super sneaky. And then we could have <gasps> a picnic or something. <gasps> I want to have a picnic. Yeah. Let's have a picnic with the food. She walks into the back rooms of Alistair's bar. The smell of freshly cooked food and booze wafts through the air. Your stomach growls. <sighs> Smells so good. Let's go. <gasps> it is so big. It's big. Oh, it's spinning. Where are the... <gasps> The cabinet? <gasps> a grilled cheese sandwich. I want a grilled cheese sandwich. Is that oh it's a drink? <gasps> you got bu bubbly <gasps> and soda. 
Ja, wobei... Ich more bubbly. Or drink and drink This I carry so much stuff on me. I got more energy drink and your bubbly and fun. I got bay. I got bay. Fujita! Look, Quentin! I got Fujita! I have Fujita. Oh, and your chimkin sandwich. Oh, boy. So much food. I'm gonna eat it all. I'm going to eat so much food. Hey! An employee spots your activity in the empty kitchen as soon as they enter. What's going on here? Uh, nothing. Shh. If you don't move, they won't see us. Oh. Right, 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 right. You instantly freeze in your place. And stare at the employee like a deer in headlights. I I can still see you. Not moving doesn't make you invisible. Of course it does. No, no, it really doesn't. London, I don't know if this is working. Just stay quiet. Keep taking what you can. No, do not keep taking. Alistair, uh, Alistair, we have a problem. You hear several footsteps begin to storm toward the kitchen to investigate. You and London stand up straight and glance at one another. As you continue to stuff your pockets with fresh bread and bars of butter. Oh, I should play again? We might have to go. Guys, go out the back door. There they are! Ellis and Vincent immediately enter through the back door to block your path. You're trapped! More employees begin to enter the kitchen through the main door while Vincent and Ellis walk towards you. You think you could just run off like that? When we get back to the house, you two are dead! How'd you know we were here? You're the high priestess in training and the fixer. It wasn't that hard to ask around and find out where you went, some green-haired lady said. Plus, you left a sack of bobby pins outside this door. Where did you even get those? Did you break in? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, are, are they with you? Unfortunately. They are friends. Friends? Did you help them with this? The employees point around the empty kitchen. No! Do, do you know who I am? Why would I help with something like this? These idiots ran off without us. We didn't do crap. They're this far gone. Why don't you keep a better eye on them? We're not their babysitters! Vincent and Ella shout simultaneously. Uh... As Ellis and Vincent walk forward to encounter the employees and argue against their accusations, Alistair enters the fray. What in the name of unity is going on in here? These two drunkards are stealing from the kitchen! The employees point at you in London. We didn't do any of that. Yup! Not us. I can see your pockets are full. Somehow this isn't the first time you've caused problems for my bar. It's what?! What have you been doing in this place, Fixer? Nothing. You reply with a grin. Either empty your pockets or I'm calling the guards and charging you for the damages and the stolen goods. Alistair replies calmly. Uh... No. Alright, Stephanie, call the guards. Wait, we don't need to do that. Ellis holds up her hands. We can pay the fines. Right, Princey? Nice try, Vincent growls at her. I'm not doing that. London Fixer, if you'll just put everything back- SCATTER! London shouts at you before instantly running out the back door. But DANG IT! Vincent shouts back at her. Aah! Rax, get your butt back here! Vincent, go stop them! But what am I supposed to do? I don't know, use your stupid prince powers to fix this whole thing! Hang on, I'll go get some help. Just keep this handled. <laughs> break it, break for it! We gotta go! <laughs> uh, we gotta sprint! 
She's hot on our tail. She will catch us where it'll never take us alive. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Huh. Ugh. Running really takes it out of you. Huh, he ran so far. He's so fast. I got food, though. You and London pause in the middle of the square with the food crates and barrels you managed to pick up from the kitchen. London is the one who stops you as she places her hand on your arm. Wait a second. Where are you going? I thought you were running. No, we said we'd have a picnic, remember? She sits down in the center of the square. Several pedestrians almost stumble and fall over the two of you as you stop in the middle of the traffic flow. Come on, sit with me. Oh yeah. You sit down next to London and smile at her happily. She begins to take out some of the food that you took from Alistair's bar and places it between you. Let's eat up, she says happily as she takes out a slice of bread and begins to devour it hungrily. You follow suit and grab a full loaf to bite into it like a, so a savage. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. I was starving. A crowd begins to form around you in London as you continue to munch on your goods. Several adults and kids alike gather in confusion at the spectacle. Is that the fixer and the high priestess in training? What are they doing? How did they get all the food? Uh, are, are they gonna share? Hmm. We got a lot of food here. Do we want to give you away too? Hmm. I don't care. Mine shrugs. I just want to eat. I'm hungry. <gasps> Oogie doggy. Everyone! Come have some food! We got plenty of food to spare! It's a picnic! Have some food! You look hungry, miss! Don't worry! The fixer can fix that! Have some food! <gasps> What's that? Are you thirsty, Mr. Guard, sir? Have some drink! So As beverage. Oh, Who no, wants you some cheese. grilled oh, cheese God. sandwich? I want no. grilled cheese. Miley, Vincent, Fern, and Lydia rush into the fray as a crowd gathers around barrels of free food London and Rex in London borrowed. Alice's eyes flare as she opens her coin pouch and counts out several pieces of copper to give to Alistair, who watches the scene in pure rage. Keep this handled, he said. She grumbles to herself. I swear, next time I see that prince, I'm strangling him for leaving me here. Get your free food right here! Courtesy of the... Uh... You ready to work again? Oh, right. The chapel place on the island! Yeah. What is going on here? The free food is new. There you are! Ella shouts at him as he returns. You got some nerve leaving me here to pay for everything. You owe me big time, Davenport! Yes, say my name louder, why won't you? Vincent glares at her. I told you I was getting help. And I did. Could you two stop fighting? Don't you think I have enough to deal with about you guys losing your minds on each other? It's not our fault. You left us with the hardest job on in all of Rem! Alice fires back at her. I'd rather pull teeth than take care of these two idiots. Then deal with it. I'd rather do a lot of things than hang out with Fern, but here we are. Hey. You guys seem tense. Want a grilled cheese sandwich? No! no! Lily and Ella shout back at him. However, Lily's gaze suddenly locks on a familiar figure. As she looks through the crowd, she notices Maverick watching everyone cluster around the free food. Her eyes widen. No way. Eh? What? The kid is right over there. Lily exclaims quietly as she points toward Maverick. Crowds must have drawn him here. Not to mention the promise of free food. Word spreads pretty fast. This is our chance to get him. How? Approaching him normally won't work, he'll just run away again. 
then maybe we try to get someone to help us who we can't say no to. No. I'm not talking says about you. Of hesitation. I'm talking about someone like a guard. She glanced around the area to find a, a member of the Aegean Vanguard. There's gotta be someone around here. <gasps> ah! She spots one standing not too far from the central fountain, and she immediately jogs over to him. Excuse me, Mr. Guard? Mm -hmm. The guard glances back at her. What seems to be the problem? We'd like to report a theft. Lily points towards the kid. That child, Maverick Abernathy or something, he stole a very important artifact. It needs to be returned to us immediately. He's causing chaos with it. I see. The guard nods slowly before looking over your group. All right, I'll go talk to him. Thank you so much. I'd like my property returned sooner rather than later. Ow! Lily elbows him aggressively. That'd be great. A guard walks over to Maverick, and Lily and her group trail not far behind him. Hey, you, kid. Hmm? Maverick tenses up as the guard approaches him. I've gotten a report that you're carrying a stolen artifact. You didn't happen to take something that doesn't belong to you, right, son? Uh... No, it's... it's not stolen. <sighs> I'm gonna have to ask that you give the artifact and come with me. We'll sort this all out and contact your... Before the guard can finish, Maverick holds up the vestige and blasts him with the same mysterious mist. Wait! Lily shouts at him, but it's too late. The guard slumps over and rubs his head. Ooh. Oh. I don't get paid enough for this. I'm going on break. Come on! You can't go on break! It's not break time, it's arrest time. Arrest the kid! I didn't do anything! You can arrest anyone, you should arrest them. Maverick points at Rex in London. They're the ones who stole from the bar. They took all the food they're giving out without paying. I heard the boss yelling at them myself. Yeah, that's not allowed. Mm. I'll look, I guess, but then I'm leaving. Hang on a second. I Wiley tries to stop the guard, but even as she tries to pull on his arm, he ignores her and approaches London and Rex instead. Rex notices the guard's approach and gets a devious grin on his face. Hey! Oh, what do you think you're doing? You'll ever take us alive! God damn it, Fixer! <laughs> Food bye! Come on, he's getting away! We have to- Pie incoming! Alright, who threw that? I'm getting torched! Please, focus, Ellis, we have to get the kid! Uh, Lily, he's gone. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on, Rex, I'm not hungry anymore. We gotta go. Boogie. Lily wipes herself off in frustration as a majority of the crowds begin to disperse and leave the mess behind. Uh, I don't want to know what I just stepped in. Vincent holds his arms out as he brushes food off of his cape. Oh, come on! It's not so difficult to get stains out of this kind of fabric! Ella snaps her neck towards Rex in London and flares up. That's it. I'm killing them. No! They didn't... Know what they were doing. Lily tries to control herself from attacking the pair as well. You guys look mad. <laughs> what happened, Ellis? Why are you covered in pie? I wonder! Ella snaps. How the heck did you two manage to stay clean? You started the full food fight! 
Because we're professionals? Duh. The kid got away again. I'm aware. Thank you, Lydia. Huh. Back to square one. Great. Vincent glanced around the square. And now we have another mess to clean up. We don't have time to deal with the square. We need to get the vestige back before things get even worse. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Well, we can't leave the square like this. It's against the law. Fine. <sighs> then, Lydia? Eh? Could you help clean this up? You gotta be kidding me. Look, I don't like it either, but I can't trust Fern to clean things up, and Vincent and Ellis need to take Rex and London back to the house. <sighs> All right. You're at a point, fine. She looks around at the scene. I don't even know where to start. London's eyes glitter momentarily. You could start over there. She says as she steps to the side with Lydia. Sleeps Fern, Rex, Vincent, Lily, and Ellis. So, what's up, guys? I hate you. Ellis replies to him instantly. The kid went that way. You know, if I want to get the vestige, and I have to catch up with him. We, Fern, we. <sighs> Vincent, Ellis, can you handle these two before they ruin something else? No promises. Please, that's all I need you to do. Not exactly having success for yourself, Lily. Maybe it'd be best if we switched. No. No, oh, I, I have it handled as long as you keep Rex and London out of our way. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Vincent rolls his eyes. Rex glances towards London and Lydia as London finishes whispering something in Lydia's ear. She walks back over to Rex with a wink. I'm not hungry no more. When now? Now you stay here and wait patiently for us to finish with the square so you can go back home. Nah, London shakes her head. Come on, Rex. She grabs him by the hand and starts to lead him away quickly. Ah! Uh, bye! D no, you don't! Get back here, you little- Ellis starts to yell. Before she can run after the pair, she slips over some more pie and lands face first into the pavement. Ow! Lily hangs her head. I'm leaving? To get the kid. Please catch up with those two and keep an eye on them. Run! <gasps> to the direction you pointed. Yes! Yes! I'm going so far. We're so fast. We're like oh, lightning. We speedy. Rex. You look back at London as she stops in her tracks and stares at you with a quizzical expression. What's up? I do something. Something fun. What kind of fun? I don't know. I want to go somewhere. Oh, he. Let's go somewhere then. She snaps her fingers. I know! Let's go to the park. <gasps> I like parks. You're pretty. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. What about St. Vincent? What about him? He's talking for us. Whatever. You're not gonna find us. We're too slippery for him. She takes your hand and begins to lead you away. Let's go this way. Aye. Which way? Okay. We walk. We march. We are riding at dawn! I can't wait to go apart. 
I always lost time of when you apart. There was a time I went to the woods with Solus and Somber. I fought a big sign. But that wasn't much of a park. That was uh Ooh, I'm so tired. That was a woods. And a woods is not a park. A woods is a woods. Sometimes a woods is a forest. But a woods is not a park. Is a forest a park? Mm. Maybe. But if a woods could be a for wait, can a woods be a forest? Wait, can a forest be a woods? But if a woods could be a forest, could a forest be a park? I don't know. It's like the rectangle square thing. Where a, 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 a square is a rectangle. The rectangle is not a square. Which is crazy to think about. Not all rectangles are squares. But all squares are rectangles. Which, th this uh, canal. I know it's called a... Uh, Aguaduct, aqueduct, an aqueduct, an aqueduct. My favorite. I like ducks. They're mean. They're so cute, but they're mean. They'll like beat you up. <gasps> well, there's a picnic blanket. Should have found that. Oh, look at all the flowers and the, the leaves and the bushes. That's crazy. You and London skip through the park, briefly pausing to look at the roses along the path. You clumsily reach out towards a couple of butterflies, but your movements cause them to flutter away quickly. Mm, I haven't been to the park in so long. I'm not. I've been too busy, she mutters as she kicks a pebble. I gotta do all sorts of priestess stuff. And then there's the vestige problem. We don't have any time for anything anymore. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on. <gasps> Rex! Look! She rushes over to the small pond forming underneath the aqueduct. She kneels in the grass to gaze into the water. Her eyes lock onto a group of peaceful fish swimming around in the pond center. I didn't know there was even a pond here. Really? I don't get out much, she says sadly. But now we're here! So we can have fun together. <gasps> yeah! Together! You agree as you kneel in the grass next to her. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do people usually do in the park? Uh... Hang out? <gasps> I don't get to hang out with people that much. How do we do it? We could... Uh, just talk with each other. <gasps> or we can play another game. Like we did earlier. But with talking. A talking game? Okay. She considers your words with a hand on her chin. <gasps> oh! Oh! I might have an idea! <gasps> what? I remember when I was in school, they played a game of questions. You gotta ask a question, and the others answer the question, and they do it this many times. She holds up both of her hands twice. Oy, I can't hold that high. 20, London tells you. Okay, so it's like 21 questions? But wait, 20? Yeah, she nods slowly. 
We could play that. You raise your hand. Oh, 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 I'll stay. I'll stay. I wanna ask if you think I'm cool. <laughs> You're super cool, Rex. That's why I like to hang out with you. I think you're cool too. <laughs> this game is awesome. Now is your turn. I don't know what to ask. Uh, do you have any siblings? Nah. -uh. What about that girl in the pirate ship? <gasps> it's just Julia. She was my roomie when I first met Ren, but she like a younger sister, but not actually the sister part. Uh-huh. What about you? I have two older brothers. She holds up her fingers. They're both older than me, so they're very pro- Protect- <sighs> Protective. Ah. <sighs> That's sweet. Okay, okay, okay. My turn. What's your favorite thing to do? Mm, I like to read books and play games with you. She says with a clumsy wink. <laughs> and uh, I like going on adventures with you and everyone else. <gasps> I like that stuff too. She leans forward. And what's your biggest ambition, Rex? What do you want to do in Erwin? I want to go on adventures and be a hero that helps people, he would announce. I'm going to be the best this city's ever seen. And everyone's going to be like, whoa, look at that guy. He's so cool. And awesome. <laughs> That's a pretty good ambition. I bet you're gonna go far, X. I believe in you. Thanks! What is your ambition? I don't know. I don't have one. <gasps> Why not? I don't know what I want to do anymore. <laughs> what? What about... Becoming your head priestess. She shakes her head. Nah, that's not it. It isn't. Nope. <laughs> Cause you want to know my biggest secret? She puts a finger to her lips. I hate being a priestess. She puts her hand over her mouth and laughs. <laughs> I can't believe I said it. <laughs> Wait. You hate it? Why? It's the worst. You gotta be proper all the time and follow a bunch of rules and stuff. I don't even really believe in all that unity stuff they talk about. I don't like being in the choir or being prim and proper. I can't be myself around anyone. She turns to you. That is, until you came along, Rex, I can be around you, myself around you, because you and I are the same kind of person. I really like that about you. Really? She glances up toward the sun to observe it in the sky. Alrighty, I think that's all the time we have. We gotta go. But we didn't finish all the questions. Yeah, but the others need our help. Oh, you don't know what to do without us. Because we're professionals? Yeah, because we're professionals. She nods. She holds out a hand toward you. Come on, Rex. Let's go. <gasps> you got it. Let's do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. They can't do anything without us. Here comes the fixer to save the day again. Ah, uh, they must be so useful. 
Everyone needs me. Where are we going? Which way? You look lost. I'm lost too. But uh, you know. Where are we going? Ugh. Ugh. I'm picnic? This doesn't look like where we need to go. Barrel. That doesn't look like where we need to go. Huh? What? What are you? Wait, what? You have a thing in your hand. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, he does. It's part of the I plan. Don't. Wait, huh? Uh, yeah, don't worry. It's fine. We're just, we're just gonna. Hey, um, it's between between like a lot of us. Uh, that look. I thought I thought I saw the. The, the, the guy, you know, well, that we're chasing, oh, like what? the kid oh. that's over. You, you I swear, I swear he's here. Around here, I swear I saw. Him. <gasps> over there! You stupid kid! You want to intercept the kid's path immediately, keeping him from walking forward. Not so fast, kid. We want to talk to you. Seriously, can't you just leave me alone? We're not here to argue with you. We actually want to make a deal. What kind of deal? We know that you're enjoying your little relic there. You're using it on people, making them act funny. That's what it does? Oh, you guys are on top of it, huh? Uh, y y yes, Rex. Thank you. <clears throat> anyway, we need to get the vestige back, so we thought we'd try to trade you for something else. <laughs> nice try. I bet you don't have anything nearly as valuable. Oh, contraire. We have something even better. We happen to also have a powerful artifact in your possession, and it's so much more powerful than yours. What? Hmm. That's right. And we're willing to give it to you in exchange for your artifact. Seems only fair, after all. Fern withdraws the vestige for the kid to see. Maverick squints at it. Why would you want to give me something better? You're lying. We're not lying. This relic is so much cooler than yours. By a long shot, it's not even a competition. This will really make you be, you know, be the talk of the town. Really? Mm-hmm. Yep, all you have to do is... Wait, that's your plan? Come on, a kid's smarter than to take that obviously fake deal. Lily goes pale and slowly turns back to London. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't listen to her. That relic isn't even real. It's just a ploy to get your hand over the other one. Maverick's face contorts in anger. <gasps> I knew it! You were just trying to trick me! No one! Stay away from me and take your fake artifact with you! Without another word, Maverick runs away. Lily snaps at London. Why would you do that?! We had him right where we wanted him! That plan was never going to work in the long run. Besides, I have a better plan. Plan? Mm-hmm. No, I don't care. I don't want to hear about whatever plan you cooked up. You're going to keep screwing things up for the rest of us. Just go home and- What do you think I've been doing all day, Lily? Acting like a crazy drunk person. I I don't know. I've been helping you all day. Ugh. 
London groans as she leans back. Why else would I have climbed that house? <gasps> I thought we were playing hide and seek. We were, but we were also looking for the kid. And we found him. Uh, what? And why do you think I agreed to give out all that free food? A food was going to lead the kid to the square and give you a chance to get him. I've been helping you out all day today and leading you to the kid. Aren't I great? X's eyes glitter. Whoa. Miley stares at her, dumbfounded. You're an actual genius. Stupid. Very stupid, but a genius. That's me. Lyndon points to herself. More footsteps stomp behind Lily and Fern as Vincent and Alice finally catch up to her. Ah! Oh, thank you, Nerdy. She found them. Vincent rests his hands on his knees. I'm so done running around the city for these two. Perfect. We're all here. Now, I bet the kid's gonna go toward the square again to get close to his house. We'll want to follow him there. Yeah! Let's do it! Wait. What? Huh, did we miss something? What's happening? No time to explain. We have to go. C can you explain on the way, then? Probably not! Hey, Lily, you're so fast! Where? I am oh so God, speedy. Here's no worry. I, Burn, I, no worries. I don't want to hear I, a word about this. So fast. I, Hello, Miss. Would you like any help with anything? You, you I'm moving a fixer. on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving so on. Come on. Fast. Please, 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 I'm ready to punt today! God, help me. Where is he? Wait, no, no punting child! No punting child! No, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. We're that's back bad. at the same place! No. The kid! I <gasps> see you, child! Super speed activated! Come on, follow the shiny, Rex! Follow the shiny! Don't, lose. Don't look around! Yeah. Rex can keep up, he's fine. Sound effects are not necessary. I'm gonna get you, kid! Go back here! Why is he so fast? Go back! That is not helping! Get over here! How is it even humanly possible? Go back! Hey, Rex, can you fix your sound level? You all rush after Maverick as he continues to slink through the streets of Astra Centrum. Stop right there! He groans. Ah, oh my god, what? What do you want now, huh? Trying to trick me again? Because I'm not gonna fall for it! Nope! No tricks! Rex stumbles toward the kid. We're just gonna take your... What was you called? Vestige, Rex. Yeah, that thing. Hand it over or face justice from me, the fixer of heroin. 
He pumps his fist triumphantly and almost throws himself off balance. Vincent instantly face palms. Ah, you're so annoying. I don't have time for any of this. You're ruining everything. <laughs> then why don't you just give me what I want? Then I'll leave you alone. Nah, you don't want to give it to him. You want to give it to me. I don't want to give it to any of you. I'm not going to do it. You're going to have to learn to leave me alone or else. <laughs> or else what? Or else I'll get you all beat up. Yeah, right. As if you have the power to do that. <laughs> Don't I? Uh Before you can stop him, the child rushes through the streets, his eyes set on the nearest group of Aegean vanguards members. You might want to stop him, or else he's going to do something really bad. No, oh, no you don't! Miley instantly lunges for the kid, sprinting as fast as she can and reaching her hand out to try and grab him. However, she's too late, as Maverick holds up the vestige in front of the Vanguard members and creates a powerful cloud of mist around them. Crap! The guards slouch in their spot as the mist dissipates. Maverick points back at you all. They're trying to take my magic! Arrest them! And the guards slowly turn their heads toward you. Uh-oh. Ew, oh, bring no. it on! I oh. fix her, she and I've fuck. got hey, guys. flames. Oh. Yeah, back. Okay, all right, man. Be careful where you aim those flames. Ah, yeah. fire, fire, fire! Oh, I'm on fire! You fire! fire. Holy stop! <laughs> Magic spells! Water! 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 Oh, water! Okay, yes! Water. Keep doing the water. Keep doing the water. Yeah, water is the right. 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 Go Rex! London cheers for him on the sidelines. You're doing great! Oh, he's doing something all right. You moron! Ella snaps at Rex. Stop slinging spells around when you can't even see straight! Lily jumps away from the conflict momentarily and draws her bow. I could use more backup here, you guys! I can't provide any supporting fire if they're on top of me. Okay. Rex slurs over his words as he walks forward. I didn't do that! Lily shouts at him, but her words fall on deaf ears. One of the guards grab Rex by the collar and slam him back into the wall. He hiccups. Uh. Alright. I think I was supposed to arrest you or something. Nah, don't do that. That's not cool, man. Yeah, get off of him. Boo! Lily thinks quickly and lunges at the guard. She tackles him to the ground, causing him to let go of Rex in surprise. Oh, uh, where the heck did you come from? However, before he has a chance to answer his question, she has a chance to answer his question. His head falls back to the ground. It seems the effects of the vestige have knocked him unconscious. We have to stop this kid before it gets any worse. Let's oh go! Oh, hey, back off! Oh. Spells! Spells! Hey, spells! 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 spells. Please, no. Magic! Magic! I'm burning. I'm burning. Right. I think you need more respect. We need to bring out the big guns. Purple! Purple! Oh, purple! That's purple! It. Purple! <laughs> yes! I'm the best spellcaster in this entire sorry, city. I'm fixing it there today! It's really not my fault. Yeah! Me. Across the purple! Oh, no. Purple! Things with you over red! Red! Oh, no, it's red! Ow. Right! Blue! We no, need no, 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 some no, no. blue! Alright! Alright, fire the, the 
fixer moron. is fixing. Ah! The fixer is fixing. You need it. Look out, Lily! From a nearby alleyway to the right, Luke and Aiden re-enter the fray. Luke kicks a guard to the side, and Aiden draws his wand and uses his force spell to push another backward. We came as fast as we could. Hopefully we're not too late. You came just in time, actually. You can thank Allison for finally falling asleep. She was trying to get me to model her fabric for ugh, so long. I found Aiden wander around after the school day ended. You know, all those kids are really sweet. They even got one of them gave one of the girls a gold star today because. Does that really matter right now? Yeah, uh, right. Sorry. Well, now that you're here, we see the chance. Don't be so sure about that. You're not the only one who can get back up. The child rushes away again. As he runs, he continues to spray the mist in the faces of many Aegean Vanguard members, who instantly turn toward you and your friends to block your path. You've got to be kidding me! Okay. I'm officially sick of this kid. Come on, he's not getting away again. Purple! Ah, no, no, he's no! running! Stupid, stupid kid! He's kid. running! Ah. Yeah! There's oh, so the many people! Come on! Go down! Oh, how are they spinning? When did there get. Oh, there's six of them. Oh, he is wild! Go, go down, pal! Stay down! Yeah. Freaking, guys. Watch out. <gasps> the fixer, fixer, and fix, fixing! I'm, I'm the one who got that last shot in, alright, pal? <gasps> Hammer! Ow! Uh, ow! The kid pants as you finally manage to corner him. He holds the vestige behind his back and uses his other hand to wipe the sweat from his brow. Alright. It wasn't as easy as I thought it'd be. You seriously won't leave me alone. Not until you give us that artifact. And I'm not doing it. But can you? Please. That'd be really cool. It's mine. You can't take it from me. Well, you can't exactly stop us, can you? Miley kneels down in front of Maverick. You can't make the rest of us drunk or loopy like those guards. Now you've seen what we can handle. And that anything you throw us doesn't work, I don't think you have any more pain a pop any more options here. Alright, sure. Maybe you're a lot stronger than I thought, and maybe I can't use the mist on you, but that doesn't mean anything. I'm not gonna give you the artifact, you can't make me. You sure about that? Lydia's voice calls from behind you. Uh, Lydia? Hey! I thought we were missing someone. I just thought we were miscounting or something. Uh, how did you manage to clean up the square so quickly? Oh. I didn't. I got bored. She, Lydia admits. She turns her attention back to the kid, her, hell, her head held up high as she glowers at him. I've been following that trail of beat-up Vanguard members for minutes. Looks like my hunch was right. And now... I think this has gone on way too long. She points at the kid. You don't hand over that vestige. I'm gonna tell your mom. Uh, what? <gasps> no! You wouldn't dare! I already did. Lydia sasses him back. She waves her hand to the right as a familiar woman rounds the corner. Hey, Ayame! Sasha?! Mom? Maverick shouts. He quickly hides the vestige behind his back. Uh, what are you doing here? Miss Hunter came and got me to tell me what happened. Have you been giving Lily and her friends trouble all day? Uh, you know her? You're going to give back whatever artifact you took from them now. Maverick hesitates but stubbornly shakes his head. No! It's mine! I'm the one who found it! 
Maverick, I'm not repeating myself. Give it to Lily. No! Oh, so that's how we're acting today. Okay. She clicks her tongue and crosses her arms. In that case, I'll have to confiscate all of your toys at home. I don't think someone who's acting like this deserves to play with them. You can't do that! They're my toys! Toys that I paid for, that are kept in my house. So drop the artifact and get your butt over here. We're going home, and when we get there, you're grounded. But whether or not it's for two weeks or one month is up to you right now. Maverick stares at Sasha in shock. His face is pale as the gravity of his situation begins to set in. Eventually, he decides to throw down the artifact and walk over to his mother, hanging his head. Sasha huffs. <sighs> That's what I thought. Oh, I'm so sorry about him. I'll make sure this never happens again, Lily. Th th thanks, Sasha. I don't worry about it. I thought I raised him better than to be an entitled brat, but looks like we still have a long way to go. All right, we're going. When we get home, I want you to write a formal apology to Lily and her friends. Is that clear? Yes. Good. Come on. With that, Sasha and Maverick leave the area. Lily glances at Lydia as she watches them leave. Uh, how did you know that Sasha was his mom, Lydia? Yeah. Lydia glances at London. That one was me, too. I told Yaya about the rest if you were busy talking about stuff at the square. Sasha and her family go to church a lot, so I knew the kid was your son the whole time. Since Lydia was cleaning the square, I thought she could just go get the mom for me so that Rex and I could go to the park together. Wait, the park wasn't a part of the plan? Nah. London shakes her head. I just want to hang out with you because I like you. Oh. Well, I guess I owe you a thank you then, London. I don't know how you managed to do all of that planning while you were like this, but why don't we go ahead and fix that now? She walks over to the vestige on the ground and picks it up. Baron squints at her. Hey, hang on a second. Remember what the deal was? Up with the vestige thing, I technically got the final blow on those guards. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just let me figure out how to deactivate this thing and then we talk about our bet. Hmm? She looks down at the vestige. Maybe if I do something like... Uh, this? Lily fiddles with the vestige and it begins to lose its arcane glow. Rex and London clutch their heads in irritation as the glossy look leaves their eyes. Oh! That's... <clears throat> Unpleasant. London nods in agreement before rubbing her eyes and looking around. Are you idiots back to normal yet? Nellis asks. She waves her hand in front of their eyes. Ugh, I think so. I got a killer headache! Welcome to hangovers. Not so fun after all, is it? Good to have you back. Do you remember anything that happened? Lydia walks up behind Lily to observe the situation. Lily nudges Lydia discreetly and passes the vestige to her. Lydia smirks and pockets the vestige before walking away while everyone's attention's focused on Rex and London. <sighs> yeah, Rex nods. He looks over to Ellis and Vincent and stifles a laugh. Not another word fixer. We don't speak of what happened today to anyone. Agreed? <laughs> Whatever you say. <sighs> I think I'm gonna head back to the house. Can the rest of you handle the vestige while I go on ahead? I'm very tired. Hmm. Sure. We'll handle it. <laughs> Not that there's much to handle. <laughs> Rex holds his gaze on London for some time as she leaves. He considers the events familiar and shakes his head. Lily, you and the others got this. I have to go too. Of course you do. Vincent crosses his arms. 
Why am I not surprised? Are you okay, Rex? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I just... I gotta do one last thing. You can hand off the message to my place later, okay? Thanks. Then another word, Rex runs off. London! You jog to catch up with London as she quickly walks away from the scene. She keeps her head held high and she takes deep breaths as she tries to stabilize herself on the occasional wall. Oh my god. My head's killing me. Hey, London, wait up! She glances back at you with tired eyes and offers you a forced smile. <laughs> Rex? What's wrong? <laughs> Their problem? No, I just had a question. Well, then ask away. But try to make it quick. After the day we've had, I'm shocked you haven't felt on the verge of collapse. I'm exhausted. She avoids your gaze as your eyes narrow. Was it true? When you said you didn't want to be a priestess? Ah, <sighs> so... You remember that part. She tries to wave you off and deflect the question. Just forget about it, alright? It was just the effects of that vestige making us say ridiculous things, that's all. That's all? Well... What about what you said that you wanted to spend time with me at the park? Uh, uh, that, that was true. But the priestess thing wasn't. <clears throat> Why are you doing something that you don't want to do? Why stay a priestess if you hate it? I... I thought it was what I needed. I... I still think that... It was a role I had to take to repent for... <clears throat> she cuts herself off. You shouldn't feel obligated to do something you don't want to do. <clears throat> you should be the person you want to be. Why don't we try and talk to Rain about this? No, Rex, it's alright. It's not a big deal, I promise. But it is such a big deal! I want you to be happy, London. You grab her shoulders. Tell me, honestly, right now, that you want to, you don't want to be, that you want to be a priestess and I'll drop it. But if you doubt it, even a little bit, we should go. Together. I can't lie to you. And I'm scared, but if you're with me... And okay, we can try. Come on then. I just have to... Uh, at least now I'm going the right way. Did I do all this? Oh my... Wait, am I going the right way? Oh my freaking head. Day, I ran around without thinking about any consequences. And I realized that I really enjoyed that. <clears throat> it's pretty fun.
But I get why every day can't be like that. But rules deserve to be bent a little. Life must be pretty hard and pretty suffocating if you can never do the things you want to do. I think everyone should be a little free sometimes. And I think that's what I stand for if I'm a, a hero. That's what I want to stand for. Freedom to do what you want to do. Because that seems like a beautiful world to live in. she would be. <sighs> you and London walk toward Reyna, who prays at the giant statue of unity. Her hands are clasped together in front of her, and her head is lowered. Dear goddess, May peace and prosperity prevail during these difficult times, and may your wisdom guide us to new beginnings and brighter horizons. Amen. You and London patiently wait for her prayer to conclude, before you clear your throat. <clears throat> Reyna? Ah, hello there, Rex. London. She turns towards you and grins. I must say... The cathedral has been quieter lately without your presence, my apprentice. I hate to admit that I've missed seeing you walk these halls. She gives you her full attention. What can I do for you? London wanted to tell you something. You motion for London to take the lead. She steps forward nervously before looking Rain in the eyes. Hi, Priestess Raina. I want to say that I greatly appreciate your patronage over these past several months. However, I don't think I want to be a priestess anymore. Reyna raises an eyebrow. Oh. Please tell me more, my child. When I first came to Erewhon, I thought that being a priestess was what I needed to do. I thought it was the only way for me to repent for the things I had done before I came to this city. But I haven't enjoyed my time with the cathedral. She holds up a hand quickly. Don't get me wrong. You've been nothing but helpful to me, and you assisted me in finding a purpose for a time. And for that, I'm quite grateful. But... But you are not satisfied? That's right, High Priestess Reyna. Please, London. You're more than my pupil. You're my friend. <sighs> In fact, I've been anticipating a conversation like this for quite some time. Wait, what? You, you have? Can I ask? Why do you think I chose you to be my new apprentice? You mean besides Melody being a crazy assassin? I didn't know that part, Rex. The high priestess waves you away. I'm not sure, London admits. It's because you reminded me of myself when I was young. A young woman who didn't always make the best decision for herself or others, and who managed to get into more trouble than she bargained for. London's eyes widen. Really? Of course, I couldn't expect you to find yourself in this cathedral like I did. I knew that eventually you would take flight and leave the metaphorical nest. Which is why I chose you to be the High Priestess after me. 
You weren't like the other priestesses who craved that power. You wanted nothing to do with that. You pause. Wait. So, London was the perfect high priestess because she'd be a bad high priestess. Raina pauses. Th th that's a bit of an oversimplification. <laughs> oh my god. You're ridiculous, Raina. Her tail flicks behind her as she sighs. <sighs> You're probably the only thing I'll miss from this place. This doesn't have to be our last encounter, London. You're free to visit any time. You and your friends. So, what now? Now, London considers, I suppose I won't have to memorize any more mantras. You are free to be yourself, London, Raina says, whoever that person may be. Thank you. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh god good coast is still clear ah, what am I doing this is ridiculous. She's locked up nice and tight. Once I'm out of here, I won't have to worry about her again. But then, if I try to go back to Alden... Ugh. I can't just live my life in fear that sweet Esmeralda is going to come for me. I gotta get out of here. Do we have here?